Hello everyone, Silent here and welcome back to another Bedrock Edition video. Today we're going to be taking a look at something that is not quite in line with the normal content on this channel. However, it is still pretty interesting and pretty fascinating and kind of a new thing that you can do with redstone on the Bedrock Edition of Minecraft and that is block dropping. So before we really get into things, let me explain what block dropping actually is for those of you who are not aware. So on the console editions and more importantly the Java edition of Minecraft, there is this amazing mechanic and feature of being able to zero tick or one tick pulse a sticky piston that has a block on its face. After it gets that pulse, it will extend and then the block that was on its face will be just extended and just kind of left out there. It will not get retracted. Now, this is extremely useful for so many tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of contraptions, tree farms, piston doors, flying machines, quarries, you name it, block dropping is extremely useful. Not to mention just for like simple T flip flops and basic circuitry, block dropping is an amazing feature and there is absolutely no equivalent to this on the Bedrock Edition. So that makes so many different things uh, just really quite terrible. Along with all the other features that pistons are lacking, block dropping is a massive one that we could really use on this platform. So I've actually found a way to get some sort of block dropping on the Bedrock Edition of Minecraft. So that is what I will be showing you how to do in this video and explaining how it works on the Bedrock Edition as well. So while this isn't technically block dropping, I do find it very cool to actually see that block get left out on the Bedrock Edition. I've been playing Minecraft for years and years and years and doing redstone that entire time and I really, really miss block dropping from playing on console edition and Java edition. Like it is just such a useful feature and I'm just super happy to actually see this block get left out on Bedrock. Even though the redstone behind here is completely embarrassing as all get out, especially when compared to the other platforms literally only needing an observer and something to update it like that is just like that would be so nice to have but either way this is still pretty cool and i hope some of you guys get use out of this in your worlds so of course you can add additional blocks to this you can do all the things that you would expect to be able to do with that slime block you can add all the blocks to it you can add more slime blocks to this even so here it is this is the entire contraption right here and as you can see it is uh it is pretty embarrassing especially when compared to this which works on every other platform like why can't we just have nice things we have to have massive dinosaurs and that is how we get somewhat nice things so as you can see it does work i've tested this uh not really super thoroughly i just kind of threw this together to actually get a functional demonstration this thing has been 100% reliable for me. I've flicked this lever many, 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 many times because I'm just kind of happy to see this happen. But I'm sure those of you who are smarter than me will be able to compact this down and actually make it practical and useful. And I would love to see some farms or contraptions that actually use this block dropping because that would be so cool. Block dropping is honestly amazing and so useful. And I'm hoping that even with all of the other piston features that we're lacking, we will still be able to. Uh, you know, get some use out of block dropping on the Bedrock Edition. So let me try and explain to you guys how exactly this system works. The first thing that you need to know is that an extended piston is not movable, it is an immovable object, which is actually fairly useful and a great little mechanic. So that is basically how all of this right here works. So when we want to actually move that slime block out, what we need to do is just power both of these and then we need to retract the piston that is pushing the slime block first. That's gonna pull on the slime block, which is then gonna pull on our block that is right here and try and pull on our extended piston, which is immovable. So this thing is not going to be able to retract anything. So it's just gonna move backwards. And then what we're gonna do is basically just retract the one, you know, kind of filler block. That's not gonna bring back the slime block either. So that's pretty cool. So that is basically how we're leaving the block out there. 
when we want to pull the block back in, basically what we do is retract the glass block or the filler block first and then retract the slime block. So it's actually a fairly simple little thing. So here is a stripped down version of the bigger machine over there. This one isn't as reliable, but it does its job as a demonstration machine. So the lower one spits out the block and the upper one retracts it. So as you can see, you can just kind of mess with this all day. It's really fun. I honestly, seriously hope that someday we get proper block dropping on bedrock because it is just so useful for puzzles and games and just so many different things like even this right here you could set up some sort of combination lock where you have to get things in the correct order to retract the redstone block and unpower the door or just so many different thousands of different things that you can do with block dropping it so i may as well go ahead and show you how to build this little contraption in your world maybe you want to throw it in your base somewhere it's just kind of like a little fidget toy i'll honestly probably do that because this thing is just kind of fun to mess with uh, so yeah, let's just kind of get to it. You're basically just going to want to have two sticky pistons on the wall right here. This is the block that we're going to be shooting out. And this can just be pretty much any kind of filler item as long as it isn't, uh, you know, like glazed terracotta or, you know, it's got to be something that is pushable basically. And now we're just going to go ahead and place a couple of repeaters on the ground right here. We need this one to be on two ticks, this one to be on one tick place some blocks above that we want this one to be on one tick and that one to be on two ticks just like so go ahead and place some blocks behind there we want redstone there and redstone there one observer to power that lower section and one observer to power the upper section right there then go ahead and place a redstone block in front of that lower observer redstone dust above it and then you just want to go ahead and place a series of blocks in this kind of formation right here so it's basically just a two by two but this corner block is pushed up by one. Go ahead and get two comparators right here. And then this repeater is going to be going right into that observer. And then you just need two hoppers facing into each other like so. Redstone dust on top of them. And then just go ahead and throw any random item in that hopper. And that's going to start, uh, you know, kind of clocking your system. So my input of choice is just an observer, basically and that observer has a redstone torch on the back of it so uh, as long as you're activating the front of that observer your system will start doing its job so as you can see it retracts the block and now it is extending and letting it go and honestly this is just kind of fun to mess with so this might be broken if you build it on a chunk border you got to be careful about that Minecraft is kind of weird about chunk borders, but otherwise this thing is pretty good to go. Hopefully you guys enjoy this and hopefully someone actually gets use out of this in their redstone contraptions. So in case anyone is wondering how exactly I found this little mechanic, I was actually just trying to make a player elevator in the standard way and then that was happening. And this does not happen on any other platform because they have reliable piston update order. We don't have that on Bedrock, so that is why this happens. Um, of course, you don't need the lower piston, but still, kind of a weird discovery to make while building kind of the most mundane of things. Uh, honestly, player elevators have been done to death, but I hadn't done one yet, so I wanted to do one. Uh, anyway, that is going to do it for this little tutorial showcase kind of mechanic video. I hope that you guys did enjoy. If you did, then of course, be sure to leave a like on the video. Maybe subscribe if you're new here so you don't miss the next video that I upload to the channel. And I will see you guys down in the comment section and in the next one. Thank you again for watching, and then there was silence.